Naomi was in a tough place. Famine had driven her and her family out of Israel to the neighboring country of Moab, where they settled down. And then tragedy struck when her husband died, leaving her a widow. Her two sons married Moabite women. And then after some years, tragedy struck again. Both her sons died, leaving poor Naomi isolated and lonely in a foreign land. But she didn't abandon her faith in her God, the God of Israel. And she decided to go back to Israel because she had heard that God had visited Israel and provided food for his people. She advised and strongly urged, actually, her daughters-in-law to go back to their families in the hope that they may be able to marry again and make a life in their place among their people. And the one daughter-in-law was persuaded and went back. But the other daughter-in-law, Ruth, totally refused. She said, do not urge me to leave you or to go back from you. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. And where you die, I will die. And where you are buried, I will be buried. God forbid that anything apart from death, should ever separate us. Now what drew Ruth so strongly to Naomi and to her God and her people? It must have been something about Naomi's character, the resilience and endurance that she derived from her faith, and the love and the kindness. Ruth came to the conclusion that the God of Naomi was a living God, who a helper, a saviour, who could strengthen his people who trusted him, unlike the empty idols of Moab. And so she decided to throw in her lot with Naomi and her God and her people. Going back to Israel, the Lord blessed her there. She found a good job. She found a wonderful husband, a God-fearing husband, and a rich husband too. And God blessed them with a son, Obed, who became in time the grandfather of King David. So we see how in this way Ruth became painted into God's picture. She became the great-grandmother of King David and the ancestor of the Messiah, Jesus, the Savior of the world. And it is by faith in him, Messiah, Jesus, that we get painted into God's picture, that we become children of God, and heirs of eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.